Hey, what's going on guys? Jay Wu here again getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends review on the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Mark III armor. And I really like this figure, guys. Uh, I've really been wanting to pick up one of his earlier armors since the uh, first movie came out way back in, what was it, 2007? I think it was 2007? Yeah, so long ago, even... I'm starting to have memory slips here and there. But yeah, definitely a very impressive looking armor. Really impressed with the detail and the color scheme and everything. So yeah. Straighten the guy out right here. My main man, Mr. Stark himself. The beginning of the MCU. Very cool looking armor. I really like the way the uh, head is looking right there. Pretty menacing, kind of. Like, like he means business. So yeah, let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we're going to do a look at the comparisons. Slide you back right there. So, nice looking window box there for the um, Iron Man figure, the Infinity Saga. First, well, Mark III armor. Got the in-game artwork right there in the back, well, on the side. And then on the back, you have the little read-up right there. You want to read that. Pause it now. Yeah. Not a bad look. I really like the, what they're doing with these uh, Infinity Saga packages. I feel like they should have been doing it like that for a while, but, you know, progress, practice, makes perfect and all that. Can't fault them too much. So, for comparisons, let's bring in some movie armors. I'm going to do a quick little progression here. going to put him off to the side a little bit. As you guys know, he first appeared, well, first appeared in this armor in the first movie. This was the Mark III third attempt then you had he came into the mark six armor in the first avengers movie then once that got all battle damaged and beat up by loki and the spear of destiny he went ahead and transitioned into the mark seven armor and that cool suit up scene when he jumped out the window Let's see how those guys look together yep, not a bad progression right there I kind of wish it would have kept the uh, the uh, triangle triangle looking arc reactor. That's more of my preferred version, but it works. He had to get a new suit of armor anyway, so but whatever gets the job done. Put these guys off to the side. Then gonna put Tony in the frame. You can see how he looks next to his uh first red and gold armor yep. definitely I feel like the uh, armor is getting a little bit bigger because he doesn't really look like he can fill the suit up the suit looks like it's about maybe 6'5 or something <laughs> so yeah definitely like a little bit of a stretch for him to get into the armor but yeah it works Let's get to the accessories a little bit, then we'll get into the figure itself. So the Mark III armor comes with interchangeable blasting hands, or well, repulsor hands. And one little gripe I had about these uh, hands is that of all the armors that we've seen come out that all have the little peg holes in his hands, these do not have the peg holes for blast effects. Which is kind of weird, they have this just painted on um, effects right there in the center of the hands so it's kind of weird but these hands are almost the ex well yeah they're the exact same mold as the hands from the mark 7 armor so if you want to do it like that you can just take the uh, yeah you can just take the hands off the mark 7 and plug it into the mark 3 and put your own blast effect in there and make it work if you have the mark 3 or a similar armor with blast effect hands and he also comes with the interchangeable head with the uh, faceplate open. Get a little bit of uh, start goodness. Then he comes with also the little missile launcher deal that he had kind of like midway through the movie where he hit the tank 
Well, the tank hit him, and then he landed on the ground and got up and shot the tank. He has his little makeshift shield that he had pop out whenever he was under fire from Ironmonger at the end of the movie. And the placeholder piece right here, he kind of has this, this little piece that kind of makes it just look like it's a regular part of his arm. Just to make it match the other side. It plugs in right here. So yeah, all those little pieces I showed you guys plug in right here on his right arm. So yeah. So get where you guys aren't lost trying to figure out where it plugs in at. And so, let's get down to brass taxes here. Show you guys what the figure can do. His head's on a dumbbell joint. Gives him the ability to look up that far. So, looks down that far. Side to side motion. He has a kind of a weird, this is my first time seeing, seeing something like this, a arm joint or shoulder joint that's kind of like sunken into his arm there. I don't know if you guys can see it fully but it kind of just rotates this entire piece right here because the shoulder piece is connected on the inside of the shoulder joint right there. So it kind of just rotates the entire piece all the way around. It's my first time seeing something like that. It may have had it on other figures in the past or something like that but uh, I probably didn't get those figures back in the day. So yeah my first time seeing that. But does rotate all the way around though and then his arm comes out that far bicep swivel double jointed elbow that folds in pretty far wrist rotation up and down motion although it's kind of hindered because of how far the uh, this piece right here comes out around on his wrist and the top piece on the back of his hand so don't get a whole lot of motion there it kind of just stops like right there it has a torso swivel, so you get a good little range of motion right there. Also can kind of rotate with it, yeah, all the way around. It has legs that kick out that far, so not a whole split, but almost there. Upper thigh cut, legs kick out that far, go back that far, and get his arm out the way. Yeah, so not too bad there. And he has a double jointed knee, and guys, guys, it literally folds up and all the way. Like, wow, that that really blew my mind. He can literally touch his calf to the back of his thigh. That knee joint is ridiculous for for a Marvel Legends figure. Wow, like he's literally touching his calf to his thigh. That is crazy. Like I'm just kind of just stoked by that. Then he has very limited ankle movement he can rotate well he can pivot downwards a little bit up but it's stopped by the little this piece right here at the top of his um shin bone well the bottom of his shin kind of hinders it from coming up all the way and it gets like ever so slight pivot to the sides there but of course it can kind of spin just a little bit too but these pieces on the side hinder that so not a whole lot of movement in the ankles but you get what you need for dynamic poses here and there and uh, just to give them a stand but overall yeah pretty cool figure definitely gonna be on the forefront of my Iron Man displays and for the price point I feel like I think I paid maybe was it 26 bucks for him but then I got him through the uh, Pulse Day sale in the summer so I think I actually paid maybe like 14 or 15 bucks for him yeah, not a bad price for this figure. Definitely very highly detailed, great paint job, great sculpt. Arc reactor is kind of, yes, yeah, sunken a little bit so you kind of see like a little bit of difference there, but it's mostly just painted over. Great detailing in the back. Overall, great movie figure. I really like it. I don't really think it beats the Mark 7 armor per se but it's up there because the mark 7 just has all the extra bells and whistles and everything that Tony was talking about in the movie and stuff like that with the flat pieces on the back and whatnot and yeah he just and then the hands with the peg holes in it so he just kind of just he kind of blows the mark 3 out of the water 
But both of these stand, of course, like way above the Mark VI armor. It came out with the first Avengers movie. But of course, these kind of like just too short to begin with. They were just kind of like getting their footing or whatever, making these figures, I guess. So, yeah. But, yeah. Great figure. Definitely recommend picking them up if you get the opportunity. If you see them somewhere, if you uh, get them on sale somewhere. Yeah. So, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment, do all the process, YouTube. And stay tuned. I'm probably going to try to get out another video for the night or this morning, depending on where you live at. It is currently 1120 New Year's Eve, so I'm going to try to get this knocked out before the new year started. So, appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate it. Everything, you guys have a great night. Happy New Year's.